In today's Python video, I'm going to show you how to use the iterator function. So what does this function do? This function takes a list and iterates through the list. That might sound confusing, so here's an example. I create a list called my list and set that equal to a list containing one, two, and three. I then create a variable for the iterator called my iter and set that equal to iter and then in parentheses put my list. When I print my iter, you see it'll print the list iterator object. If we want to get the items in our list one at a time, we can create a variable. In this example, I called it item and set that equal to next and in the parentheses put my iter and then we're going to print item. When I run the code, you see I get one. This is because one was the next item in the list. If we copy seven and eight onto the 10 and 11, you'll see when I run the code, I get one and then two. This is because we start at one and then we use the next function, it goes to two. If I copy the code two more times and run the code, you'll see that we get one, two, three, and then an error. We get this error because we ran out of items in our list. If we replace line 16 with item equals next, and then in the parentheses, put my iter comma, no more items. And then when we run the code, you'll see that we get no more items instead of an error. This is because it checks to see if there's any more items in the list. And if there's not, it prints the message that we left. Like subscribe.